How's it going everyone? My name is Nori Plays and welcome to the first day of the 100 days that we're going to be drawing in. in. This one, we're going to start with basics. We're going to, again, do some gesture drawing. If you don't know what gesture drawing is, I'll show you that in just a second. Let me just load up a new canvas here. We're using Clip Studio Paint because this is what most people use when it comes to making kind of like anime art and manga art so most of our resources are going to be from pinterest as well pinterest and art station kind of a mix uh art station will be a lot later when we start to study all the different styles of the artists and things like that but for now we're learning about figure drawing and gesture drawing why is this important i'll show you why so i'll drag one of my references here into the the canvas so there you go you can see we've got a reference here there we go i've pasted it in now so now what we're basically going to be doing is you don't have to go into detail here so i'll zoom in i only have one camera so i wish i could show you guys like from my view what i'm seeing and kind of what i'm doing with my hands but this is gonna have to do for now until i figure things out okay so with gesture drawing, what you want to do is look at your subject and just break it down into the most basic shapes. So I'm going to show that to you guys real quick. We need to edit the pen here. So if we go to opacity, we can adjust it by pen pressure so that when I press light, the lines are really light. And that's kind of what you want for gesture drawing so that you learn how to build, build up form. Okay, so here we go. So you start with a circle for the head. Then you kind of use a line to show the middle of the face. I'm going to drag this over the top. The middle of the face, like right there. I don't know if that will show well, but that's basically what I'm doing. And then I will do the eye line as well. So it's right there. And we do the jawline. And again, we're not really focused on doing crazy shapes here yet. We're just breaking down the forearm so there's a shoulder right there the other part of the neck goes down like that and then the arm goes like that and then the torso comes out like this <laughs> there's gonna be a, a lot of like that and this so bear with me because uh, I'm not very good at explaining this stuff. We're just here to, you know, have some fun, have a good time. I can already see that I'm not going to make any changes to this because we're keeping this as raw as possible. But what I can see already is that the width of the chest is not right. I would usually get frustrated at that, but you know what? It's the pro it's part of the process. We're here to learn. Uh, we're not really here to dilly dally. So the elbow, arm comes like this, and then the hand. I usually draw like this kind of shape, just indicating the general shape of the hand. That's pretty accurate so far, and then the hand is like right there I'd say actually if we look at the eye level it's actually the fingers eye level here uh, and then it kind of goes like this no it doesn't it goes out uh, I didn't give myself enough space so I'm gonna move it a bit over and then we'll kind of keep looking at it so I'm gonna erase that bit P. There we go. And we'll, we'll kind of do that for the hand for now. This pointy bit just being that one finger that's just going towards her face. And then if we look at the elbow, where the elbow is positioned, the elbow is positioned like right there. So my proportions are already wrong because this hand right here is in the right place when it comes to the chest but the elbow is resting on it like right there and what i've messed up here is the hand actually 
So if we erase that, it's the elbow placement's right. We're gonna base it off of the elbow placement first. So right, right where, right there. And then the shoulder is like hunched, so it's gonna be going right there. I think. Maybe I'm drawing my circles for the shoulders too small. So I'm not really good at perspective drawing. I, f I guess that's where we should have started, but hey. So, all the shapes come in like this to form that. So to form this right here. If you look at it, this is the elbow. And all you do is connect these points and you get like a triangular shape. It's kind of what I've done. But not really. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. If I did that. Just need to be a bit more confident in my shapes and my, my strokes here. So, and then the arm just goes up. And then if we look at where the wrist starts, the wrist actually starts about here. Okay, so like this, and then kind of like there. That's where the elbow is. And then the wrist, hmm. This is a tricky one because it comes out, the hand comes out like that. And then we're seeing it from the side. We're seeing the hand from the side. So that's where the finger would be and stuff like that. So the upper body would be like, hmm, like this, I think, wait, if we draw a midline for the chest, because the chest is actually facing to the side a little bit, so I'm gonna, should be right about there, so I actually got that line wrong. Yeah, it would be like that. You can see how <laughs> not confident I am in my strokes. Uh, I do a lot of like going over the same thing. It doesn't look very good. Hopefully we can get get it better by as time goes on though, but so the hips usually go in and then she has a belly kind of exposed there, so I'm gonna draw a shape for that. And then a skirt shape. And then that would be the gesture drawing done. So first thing to take away from this one specifically is that the chest is a lot wider here because of the shirt. So still focusing on what's behind the clothes. Uh, for now, just focus on the outline. Like that. So, you know what? That's our first gesture drawing done. Not sure if it's good, but I, uh, before I started recording, I got a lot more images. So, I don't know if I, I'm going to do one more with you guys and then I'll speed through the rest and then we'll kind of see... <laughs> if we have improved at least a little bit. If we improve it one day, that's already like big progress. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a more simpler one this time. I'm gonna pick this one right here. There's gonna be a lot of Japanese girls, I guess. So <laughs> it is what it is with this stuff. Okay. So let's move her over. And then just again, break it down. Because... This is really important before you do any kind of drawing. If you don't do a lot of gesture drawing, all of your proportions and stuff will be pretty bad. So you want to kind of get a hang of that first before you do anything. Okay, so again, just loosely sketching. Very loosely. So the head again. This time it's a bit bigger. Probably like this this the eye line's a bit higher this time i'd say about there and then the head shape kind of curls in the eye is there i think it's hidden like right there yeah uh, but you can't really see it too well and then the neck and 
And then it kind of goes like this. I would draw the eyes, but we don't need to this time around. Because again, we're not focusing on details too much. Okay. And would be like right here. It's really stretched out. Uh, goes down actually to here. It's a lot lower. Because the fingers I will make up the, the rest of the length. Like, boom, boom, boom. In this case. And then the torso is actually leaning a bit backwards. So what happens is... It's kind of like this shape. Sometimes I draw an oval for the torso and sometimes I break it down into like... That shape, depending on my perspective. In this case, I would do a rounded shape because that's the flow that's happening in the image right now. So I'm not only breaking it down to simple shapes, I'm also looking at how each photo flows. Flow is really important. So let's say her... Oh, see my hands, my hands. Pretty wonky, huh? Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Let me think about this. Yeah, that looks about right for the main chest area. And then the main ribcage would be going down uh, here, like that. Something like that, and then it would all be bending. The shoulders are also right there. I probably should have done the shoulders first, looked at where they are. Elbow, elbows are really far down. Shoulders are actually lower. They're like there. Like this. <clears throat> and then the elbows are like there. Even lower there. Wow, that, she has super long arms here. I haven't seen that before. It's pretty insane. Um, okay. Just kind of draw the main arm shape. That links back. <laughs> this looks so bad. <laughs> but you know what? We're just having fun here. Um, again, I can already see the hand start here even. Because if you look at this line, draw a line with your eyes, you can see where they kind of start. So this is wrong. That's fine. With digital, you can rub things out. That's why I love digital so much. It's a little bit hacky, but... But I like it. Yeah, so... And then the arm. Go back down. Something about this looks hella wrong. I think it's the way... The arm is going more vertically compared to at an angle here. I didn't really get that angle right at all. So, you know what? We move. It's fine. Just draw the rest of the shirt. Kind of like this. Our other hand would be just like right there. Holding the camera, I presume. So we'll draw the basic shape of the camera too. Because um, of perspective, it's really warping it. Uh, and then the lens. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> but there you have it. That's pretty much the gist of the gesture drawing. I wasn't too far off with the proportions, to be honest with you. Uh, again, it's all just in the arm here. That's why it makes it look so weird. The arm would be like over here instead and it would be at this angle. 
So you know what, let's fix that. Let's fix it again. It's the whole point. Okay, so... Get that angle in, right? Like this. And then like that. You guys probably don't know what the hell is happening here. Uh, but to be honest, I'll look back at it and I'll also not know what's happening it's there, so... Just, just have to live with it. Okay. So th that's our two gesture drawings. Again, the main idea is to not get any details in, but just get the main shapes in and break things down into basic shapes. So from here on, I'm gonna speed things up a bit while we do a few more and then we'll try draw something to end off the the episode for this for the, the first day with 99 left to go. All right, let's do this. Okay, we, I didn't get to use all of my references like I thought I wanted to um, do a bit more. But this is what we ended up with. So these are the two I did with all of you people at home. So and then these are the ones I did outside. So we have a long way to go even in terms of just something like this because 
I'm still not certain about how shapes should look. For example, I redid this one entirely because I got everything wrong from like where the shoulders were, like the- I still don't have it right. But it's better now than it was before. There's still a lot of like proportions completely thrown out the window. But it's a lot better. So there we go, this one. So this one was pretty tough because she's leaning forward. So there's something called foreshortening going on. And foreshortening means, say this is a perspective point. Uh, foreshortening means objects just getting small and then getting big. Like there's a big difference. Uh, and that's what kind of creates that distance, the illusion of distance. And that was really hard for me as a beginner to uh, grasp a concept of because this bit's in the foreground and then her skirt was smaller in the background so it kind of looks weird as a gesture drawing. This one was probably the hardest of them all actually because I was drawing this on a smaller scale so I had to draw the head really small and then the rest of the body. I'm used to doing portraits so stuff like this where the full body is not there so this was definitely much harder than anything else I've done. So <laughs> I'm not happy with what I did here because I didn't know what, where to put my lines again because I couldn't figure out what was going on under all them clothes. So usually what people do is study naked people instead but obviously this is YouTube and the last thing I want is my channel game taken down. This one's probably my personal favorite one because I feel like I got the flow of the whole image right like the way she's leaning although this pose feels a bit stiffer because of this leg I was gonna redo this leg but you know what there'll be a point in the future where I redo these anyway just to see our progress um but yeah so these are I'm gonna zoom out these are all our gesture drawings from today now we can get on with a bigger drawing so i'm not gonna draw from imagination straight away i'm just gonna do one of these but try and draw it in some sort of anime style uh semi-realistic anime style uh it won't be one of these images specifically it'll just be a something else so i'm gonna make a new document and then let's try draw something a bit more detailed to end this off.
Okay, you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. The whole point of trying to achieve the art styles that I showed in the announcement video is so that uh, we can also apply color to these. But I think I'm gonna do that some other day. Just keep it one step at a time because color is another beast in and of itself. One thing I can already see here uh, is the neck. Pretty much. I'm not gonna lie, I think I nailed most of the body. But the neck is too long, so what I'm gonna do is let's lasso it just to see if if we bring it down, if it will look good. Look at that. That doesn't look that bad, to be honest. Proportion-wise, I feel like the chest is too big. But then again, it kind of looks big here anyway, in the reference photo. It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> I also didn't draw the bag. But you know what? In my pose, she's just got her hands like on a skirt or something. But I definitely need to learn how to draw hair. I'm probably going to spend tomorrow just learning how to draw hair because I am horrendous at hair and have been horrendous. Uh, I'm horrendous at hands. I can tell you that already. That finger looks completely wrong. Same with this one. That looks fat. And then the lips as well. Lips? The lips I feel like are fine because anime lips are really simple. So you have the main shadow bit in the middle. And then it kind of like... Then you have the bottom lip. And then if you want, you can add the top lip. Uh, but... Most anime mouths are literally just the middle line of the mouth. That goes across from one end to the other. This is day one. I feel like I'm happy to end it here on day one. Again, so just to go back and cover, we did a bunch of gesture drawing, which is breaking down photos into basic shapes. And then at the end, we use those basic shapes to build a character on top of them, which is pretty cool. It's, f it's a very effective way to draw if you're new to drawing, I guess. But I can tell that those 100 days are gonna help. So without further ado, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new, and if you wanna see more of these videos. Apart from that, I'll see all of you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>